guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. Hold on, I gotta let Sam in. Ooh, put my best foot forward here. Okay, so tonight we are making the famous TikTok baked feta pasta or something. It's supposedly very easy. Um, there aren't really much directions as far as what to do, but my mother had a block of feta, so she was like, come get this block of feta, and I was like, okay. By the way, we have two full things of cabinet. Do you see this? I do. This is a lot more than the recipe. What is for. what is feta cheese normally in? Because it's like crumbled in like pastas, like like uh, uh, fettuccine alfredo type. I can't remember, but it's supposed to be very easy, so I am sharing it with you guys. If you have not seen the TikTok thing hack, whatever, apparently stores all over the place are selling out of feta. So that's actually, I think that's why my mom got it too. I think she wanted it for. I don't know. She makes a lot of charcuterie boards, so that might have been what it's for. We literally just got home from a grocery pickup. All right, so we're gonna take two. Oh, that is not enough for this huge thing, but it's okay. Little cherry tomatoes, or grape tomatoes, whatever. Wow, why does that not look like a lot? I think this this casserole dish I have is massive, like deceivingly massive. It, my mother-in-law got it for me years ago and it has like handles and it looks so normal sized, but because it like bows out, it holds so much food. Add olive oil. Okay, so now we're gonna put the chunk of feta in here. Definitely think we could go with half of this, but I'm just gonna go for the whole do you, thing. Do you melt it or mix it, or do you literally just like throw you it in? You put it in the middle, and then it like, when it cooks, you know what, I think I'm gonna cut like a quarter of this off and use a big chunk, but not the whole thing. It's just kind of excessive. And then I think you just put like some more olive oil, salt and pepper. I guess this would be more interesting if you guys saw the food. Also, I'm like all over the place because we just got back from Walmart. Like, look at this. So they, you guys know if you allow substitutions, they like, they substitute up, never down. So like I asked for like a regular pack of ground beef and they gave me this. What the F am I supposed to do that? I asked for two steaks. Like, what? what it's insane now that the like feta and all that stuff is in here this is it so you put this in the oven for 40 no 35 minutes at 400 degrees when you pull it out you add in garlic a lot of basil and then your um, noodles and that is it so all, all very excited look at all our laundry <laughs> um, so apparently Target is like the place to get flowers you guys these are Gorgeous. So I got two different bouquets, the pink and the purple, and they made this huge, huge bouquet. And then I also have, oh my gosh, our house is a mess. This one has just like six little roses. Isn't that pretty? Okay, sorry, back to dinner. So I'm making angel hair pasta. Is that what that's called? No, this is a bow tie. Okay, well, I'm not fancy, sorry. Not fancy like you, Sam. Okay, so that is what it's supposed to look like. So it's, I mean, it doesn't, don't touch it. This is the only thing about TikTok is like, nobody talks about like portions and stuff. They're just like, oh, cherry tomatoes, a block of feta, basil. I'm like, guys, proportions, please. This is supposed to be the moment of truth. You're supposed to be able to like, Looks really good though. Okay, then I gotta put my Okay. Didn't catch Sam's initial reaction. What'd you say? It's good. Very good. I wanna try it. Like I've had this before. Mmm. That's good. I don't think it's anything. Groundbreaking, I think it was just TikTok. It was like one of those things. Oh, it's like. <laughs> Doug, what are you doing? What are you doing, Doug? You got your sweater on? Hey. Even Salem's a little confused. 
What is this? What is this? Oh, you're a mess. Oh. <laughs> I don't think he likes this one. Look at this ant, and then we got this girl over here. Wow, just wow. Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog channel. Don't even know what I vlogged this week. I think there's footage somewhere, maybe. Who knows? Um, so today has been like, I cannot stop smiling ear to ear. I got to see one of my longtime friends today from college. <sighs> I just love her so much. Um, we have not seen each other in so long, at least over a year. And she's getting married. And so she asked if she could wear the veil that I wore at my wedding. And I was like, um, absolutely, because it's expensive. And I actually told like, everyone when I got married. I was like, hey, hold on, let me put you down. Um, I told all my friends, I was like, hey, this veil is like stupid expensive and it's gorgeous. It needs to be worn by one person, more than one person. So I like put it in an acid free box and it has sat. And there have been a couple people that have like wanted to wear it, um, like friends or family. And they either went with a white dress and the veil's ivory or it looked way too long because they were so much shorter. So I'm just so happy. I always knew it would be her. Like I always felt it that she would be the first person to wear that veil. So it's just really exciting. Um, but I got to see her today cause she's going dress shopping this weekend. So I got to take the veil to her and it literally felt like I saw her three days ago and it's been over a year. I love friends like that. So I'm just like smiling ear to ear, but I have got to shoot some campaigns tonight for Insta for some brands I'm partnering with. And so Sam and I are actually gonna go take those pictures as soon as he gets off work. Like he gets off work in 40 minutes. And I told him, I was like, I'm gonna have the car loaded, ready to go. We gotta take these pictures. Um, Cause it's the most gorgeous day outside and it has been disgusting and rainy and windy and dark. So now that we have beautiful weather, we gotta take these pictures cause I don't know how long it's gonna stay like that. So I turned off the fan cause it's distracting me. <laughs> But I have to like steam these clothes. Um, let's see. So I'm actually partnering with Express for their new spring stuff. And I love Express so much. I geeked out, almost cried when they sent me the offer. Um, and I got to see like their spring rollouts and stuff. Oh, so gorgeous. I think this stuff is in store now. I haven't looked online yet, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I don't even know how this shirt works. But Sam and I are gonna go take these pics. So I'll probably bring you guys because I'll, I'll show you like if I can do it without, I always have to be like careful just like exactly where we live. I, look at how pretty this romper is. It's from Express. It has a tie. So that's gonna, actually that does not need steaming at all. Oh, plus, heck yeah. That is amazing. That is like completely wrinkle free. Oh. Okay, I gotta put it on myself. So I got this Amazon order in. I was supposed to get a bunch of stuff from Amazon like today, and I'm kind of stressed. I mean, I've got time, but I was supposed to get a bunch of stuff in for this video that I'm, it's Friday's video, um, and it didn't come. Like, like I'd say like 85% of it did not come. Um, and the reason I'm stressed is just cause like the, the fronts that are coming through all over the nation. I mean, the cold fronts, like, I just don't know where the stuff's coming from, but if it's on Prime, I don't know. I don't know. So the first set I got is this. I actually have this already in blue, like navy blue, but I got it in this like pretty seafoam green color. It's like a little short and top set. Um, I love loungewear. So this is a little sneak peek because I'm gonna do a loungewear haul on my YouTube channel. I think it's next week because that was actually the bulk of what was supposed to come too was like loungewear. I got these little tie dye it's like a tie dye set those are cute those are joggers a long sleeve top so i'll link these in the description bar below but if you want to see them on you have to wait till the video comes out all right i gotta focus so i'm gonna bring you guys along when we film i mean when we take pictures later but i gotta get steam in this
the camera bag's over on that side. Okay. Oh God, all oh, the seats pulled up. Oh no. All right, so we usually do pictures on a Sunday, but this past Sunday it was like rainy and disgusting. So I decided we would do them today. You guys, it is so cold, but it is so pretty. Um, so I think we got everything I needed. I'll link this Jesus Saves shirt. Jesus Saves shirt below. Because he does. So I just wanted to wear this one. I got it off of Betsy. Oh. Burr. All right, guys. So I'm not sure. I don't think I'll have time to be able to like go home and Go. edit the vlog and I'll, like also show us cooking dinner also we don't know what we're having for Ooh, we're dinner. having waffles i decided by the way because we have like 65 eggs that need to be <laughs> done with okay so we had a so we had a waffles. grocery pickup and it was like an odd grocery pickup um we had like we asked for like two steaks we got three because it was Valentine's Day and all that stuff was gone. So then we asked for like ground beef and instead of giving us like, that's you not right. You buy the one pound packs. They gave us a three or, pound family pack. That's what it was. In the order, like I usually get a one pound pack. They gave us a three pound, three and a half actually pound pack of ground beef. But they didn't give us celery. Instead, they gave us, what was it? Like uh, 30, 40 eggs. Thanks. So 30, I don't know where I got 36 from. 30 eggs that we got. And I was like, well, I already have 14 in the fridge. So, <laughs> so we're gonna make waffles. But thank you guys for watching the vlog. Say thank you. Link from our Real Madrid TJ Maxx hoodie will be in the description. No, it won't. I can't link it from TJ Maxx. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you in the next vlog. <laughs>